display comes with a very long USB lead uh, and I've measured what I need and it's less than this and I bought this one and you can see it's got the um, micro USB plug that end which will go into there and it's also got a micro USB plug female socket this end I could just plug that um, I, I could use an adapter or something and plug it into one of the USB sockets in the Tesla center console but um, that would mean uh, uh, the sliding thing going back and a wire sort of coming out of it and it would just look really ugly so my plan A that's plan B plan A though let's use one of these what is this this is a universal wireless charger receiver module and what does that do the idea is that you stick it I think it's a self-adhesive side to the back of your if you've got an old phone and then this bends around here and if you can see there that there is a male micro USB plug so you stick it to the back of your old phone and then when you put it in the uh, onto a wireless charging pad it will charge this is for old Android phones so the plan is to get a piece of plastic um, stick this to it um, put it on one of the charging pads in the Tesla have the wire run up behind the display and across to this head-up display so um, I'm assuming the charging pads only energize when you're in the car and driving it which means this will just power up and power down itself hopefully now my first problem is getting that tiny plug to fit into there you see so I'm gonna to have to grind back all this plastic around the plug uh, because this is very short you see otherwise it won't fit so to do that I'm going to use my trusty Dremel um, with a grinding disc in the end Right, so I've carefully, very carefully, ground away the plastic, so this is now exposed. Obviously you don't want to get bits into there, because it's a female socket. So the next question is to see if I can plug this into there in a reliable way. It does go in. I, I slim down the underside slightly with a file as well. Now the other thing I've got here is this. I 3D printed this. Um, I'll put the files online. It's not top secret or anything. And this fits into the top vent of your front dash. You wedge it in. It's a gentle fit. And then this little tang here pops down into the lower vent. You know in the Tesla vent system is the top vent and then a lower one that faces straight up. So the air flow is a mixture of the flows of both if you like that's how it's uh, directed and um, the idea is your cable will plug in here this will be glued into place against this pad here this area is allowed for the back of the plug to sit in as it sticks out of the back so that's neat your cable will run up through here then out through the side that way so it'll be facing me like that cable out of the side you can then put the cable into the vent should you wish to and behind the screen and then down to the pad that's the plan anyway so I've done this in two parts so you can glue that whoops you can glue that into position something like that with a glue gun glue or arrow dight or something like that um, splurge all your glue in here on on here and then when it's set you can carefully fit the side panel glue that on and they've given you two locating tangs so it locates properly and then it, you should have a nice obviously get this at the angle that you want then that is glued to this with the cable coming out of the left hand side and you take the whole assembly and just click it into your vent okay so I've just put this here for now so the question is if I put this onto the pad will it power up so let's see put that in the middle there now oh, there we go seems to work and the next thing is whether it will turn off when I get out of the car I'm kind of hoping it will 
Well, that's interesting. You'll have to trust me on this. Um, I got out of the car, locked the car, and it stayed on. So I assume that these pads can detect if there's a phone on them or not, and whether you want it to be charged up or not. So this is the plan. We've got the cable held in place with four cable ties. They're recessed. I've cut grooves with the Dremel recess, particularly here, because this is going to stick down. I'm using this wide, thin tape which I like called Capton tape that'll just be hold that flat and then that side will go against the charger as if it were stuck to the back of the phone and then this side you cut a slot carefully bend it round a little groove for it super fragile held in place the cable and I'll put some probably put some tape across this area here as well that's super fiddly to do I use this roll of wide clear tape um, I've got a few air bubbles not too bad I managed to fold it over here in one single piece so it protects this ribbon cable just a little bit so you can see if that is now placed on the charger pad the um, coil that sits inside this is in the right spot roughly where the middle of the phone would be and then this cable will run up behind the display across to this um, and then if you don't want to use the display you just take it off the charger pad and put it somewhere else uh, I've just test fitted this in the car to get the angle right in this direction and I've just held it in place with blue tack um, so what I'll do is I'll make a little mark on it so the marks line up and then I'll take the side panel off and glue it permanently with the cable inserted so I'm carefully gluing this in place it's held on with blue tack on the reverse side and um, yeah obviously when you put the glue in you've got to be very careful not to move it at all because you want this pointing straight at you when it's in the car so I've put half the glue in, I'll put some more glue in then around here and then put the side panel on like that once this first lot of glue is set to... I've also put some glue in here to set this cable back right back towards the back end so this will be hidden because it'll be inserted into the vent so the wire will then the cable will at least start off well into the vent um, which gives you a chance of running it across along the vent and then down behind the screen without it sort of falling back out onto the front of the dash